Day 14 of Ramadan Diaries 2019. Ramadan, Ramadan, Ramadan. I've eaten. Um, I had the same thing as yesterday. I had my kebabs, had my brata, and had some water. And I actually had some mint chocolate chip ice cream this morning. Don't ask why. I just was craving it. Um, so I don't usually fall asleep before Sehri. You guys know that I've got a routine of like once I've woken up after iftari, I don't sleep so I can function correctly, I can eat, I'm awake, I know what I'm doing. That didn't happen today. I actually ended up dozing off while editing my vlog. I was just shattered. Um, I ended up dozing off uh, around about quarter to one maybe. And I woke up at two and I felt so bad. I felt awful. I just... I couldn't function, I didn't want to move, I was lazy, I was just, I, str I had to really force myself, I was struggling, I actually really had to force myself to actually come back downstairs and eat properly and that's another thing, that's another reason why I don't sleep because I don't want to eat because I'm just so tired, I'm just like nah, don't want to eat, I'm good. Um, I feel a lot better now, obviously I can function, so that's actually one of the reasons why I didn't vlog in the kitchen or vlog me prepping the food or anything like that because I just, I couldn't, I just could not do it, I, I can't explain the feeling, um, but yeah, so it's the early hours of Sunday morning, it is day 14, and I am going to now head upstairs, um, I've just prayed and I'm going to head upstairs and get some proper sleep, and hopefully I'll wake up feeling a lot better, and uh, yeah, on the agenda for today is, I'm obviously going to be heading back to Manchester because I've got to work tomorrow, um, and that's about it really, that's the only thing I've really got going on to be honest, which is the kind of weekends that I kind of like where you have nothing going on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get going, good night from me, I'll see you guys in a few hours time. Hey guys, heading back to Manchester, I'll see you on the other side. So I'm officially back home and I am struggling a little bit today. Um, yeah just a tad um i've also just realized believe it or not which i'm actually really really good about i forgot my camera charger at home that's back in leeds so i'm gonna have to think of something in order to continue these vlogs because without the charger the battery's gonna die i'm really devastated i'm legit devastated hopefully a cable for something else will fit into my camera i'm not 100 percent sure only time will tell i for now I'm just gonna kind of chill out. I'm, I'm I'm struggling a tad today, just a tad. So gutted about my charger. I can't believe I've done that. Out of all the things, it would be the charger. I should have. Oh, and I kept double checking. I've packed my Mac. I've packed my Mac charger for editing, and I completely forgot the camera charger for filming or recording or whatever you want to call it. Oh, sad times. Right, Zena, you wanted to know what I have for iftar. This is the first time I'm actually having a proper meal. Um, oh, and I'm that? having some wings, a bit of mash, and some rice. Um, because I've actually taken the day off the gym today. And Aisha always kicks off that I don't actually eat properly at iftar. So I'm having proper food. That's for you, Zena. So I thought I would grab a vlog camera today and do a little bit of vlogging. So we've just done our iftari. So I think today is probably probably the first time that we've properly done um, iftari. Um, I really enjoyed it and yeah, it's been nice. Um, even though we live together, we hardly, hardly spend any time together. So it's just nice to just chill and have our iftari together. And hopefully we are able to do our seri together as well. So tired though, so tired. Okay, so that is day 14 complete, alhamdulillah, and in a few hours time we're going to be going into day 15, which is officially the halfway mark. Um, I was texting my friend today and she said it's insane how quickly they're going for you, and I said I know. Um, they are flying by, and although that's great in one aspect, at the same time, I also want to kind of embrace the moment, embrace this month. You don't know what the future holds. 
you know, I'm inshallah, I'm hoping to be here for the next good few years of Ramadan. Um, but you just don't know. So I want to kind of embrace this month, embrace the moment that I'm in and embrace the fact that, you know, Allah has blessed me to actually be able to fast in 2019. So, yeah. Um, in terms of the fast in general, it was a difficult one today. I've not really struggled like I have today since after the first one. Um, in terms of the tiredness, I was struggling. In terms of the hunger, I was struggling. I was just struggling in general. I didn't really have a strenuous day, I didn't really do much today. I woke up, I washed my car, and then after that I got ready and came to Manchester. Like, I didn't really have a difficult day, but the lack of sleep, the lack of energy, the lack of food and drink, I felt today, out of all the days, it actually took its toll on me. Um, I have got work in a few hours time and I feel like I'm going to have a knock-on effect in terms of the tiredness. So my sleep wasn't 100%. It was interrupted. It wasn't, you know, when you've had like a good, even if you have like a good 15 minutes of hardcore sleep, you feel great. Uh, no, it's like I was still awake, but I was asleep. It was weird, but it's all good. We soldier on. We got this. Um, not really decided what I'm going to have for Sehri yet. Mum actually sent some broto with me, which I thought was really, really sweet of her. So I'm going to have that, but I don't know what I'm going to have with it. Um, I'm also very aware of the fact that this is the first meal I've actually had at Iftar. I usually just have fruit and water or a date. But only because A, with the gym, I don't want to go in with a full stomach. B, I actually want to be hungry at Sehri so I can actually really indulge in food because that's got to last me the entire day. And the reason I've actually eaten today is obviously because Aisha wants to do Iftar together properly because she likes to eat proper food and rightly so, and rightly so. But the other reason is because she did have a point that as time's going to go on, you're just going to get weaker and weaker and you're not eating at all. So you need to actually physically put something into your body. So I, I got where she was coming from as well. Um, I mean, we'll see how we get and something tells me that by one, two o'clock, I probably will be hungry again. I mean, it is only half 11 right now. Time will tell. Right, I'm going to get going. I'm going to edit and upload this vlog for you amazing people. I will see you guys at the beginning of day 15. Um, and... Yeah, bye from me for now. Oh